I see that you're uh, rehydrating at the moment. How are you feeling? Yes, sir, man. I feel great. Feeling great? You know, this is a standard uh, routine to rehydrate. Oh. Yeah, Julio Diaz says, uh, you mentioned just before that he has more knockouts than you have fights, but you also mentioned that you have as many amateur fights, if not more. You're knocking him out. He has knockouts, not in the walkway division. <laughs> what are you expecting uh, for tomorrow? It's not going, he says it's not going the distance. That's all he kept telling me. It's not going the distance. Of course it's not. He's fucking with one time, baby. You know? One time. Yeah. I, I plan on putting the hurt. I plan on putting the pain. I'm going to test his chin. I'm going to test his body. You know, ever, ever since, yes, uh, at the media workout, people are calling you, uh, saying that you're going to be the next big star. You believe in that? Most definitely, man. I want to be here today if I didn't believe in it. And they say you got the talent, you got the charisma, and you're exciting. Is that what it takes to be a superstar in boxing? You know, to be a superstar in boxing, it takes one thing, baby. Skills, all right? It takes skills, mad skills. You know what I'm saying? I got that. I got that. I got the charisma. All that other stuff is just icing on the cake, man. But I plan on giving you guys great performances every time I step in the ring. Tune in Saturday night. I know it's a little premature, but uh, what do you, who do you want next? If I uh, if victorious over Diaz. I would just like a title shot, man. Um, you think this is your ear? We got, we got, we got many years. Got many, many years. years. You're only 25. That's right, baby. You know, every, everybody wants, you know, to make the best fights happen right away, but that's not how boxing works. Sometimes it takes a little time. It takes a little time, one time? It takes a little time. And for me, all it takes is one time. <laughs> but you know, even for me, it's, it's taking some time to get to this stage, to be where I am today, you know? This one is better, yeah. But, you know, we're gonna we're gonna perform and hopefully, hopefully, slowly but surely, we get the fights that we deserve. And you're pleased how things are going? Definitely, you know, I mean I could probably ask for a little bit more, but I like to stay humble. I feel blessed, I'm living out my dream. I really can't complain, man. All right, Keith. Well, thank you so much, and good luck to you. Thank you. Talk to us about this fight, man. You just weighed in. I'm psyched. I'm ready to go. I'm excited. You know, the first part's over. Weight's on no point, so it's time to work. Now, he's talking about that. Uh, you said you had more knockouts than he has fights, but he says it doesn't matter. He has as many amateur fights. He says you're getting knocked out. Yeah, but I mean, he's confident. I understand. But who has he fought? Who has he knocked out? You know, I'll be the judge of that on uh, Saturday night. I'll tell you how good it is. And do you feel good just waiting in? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready? Another day in the office. You know well, what's I mean? your prediction for the fight? He's not going to see you. You're knocking him out? He's not going to see you. All right, thank you. Good luck. John, how are you feeling after the weigh-in? Yeah, good. Good? You're gonna go eat now. You're gonna go eat? Ready to go eat. Well, there's some food here. You're not uh, interested in that? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab the goat. I'm ready to go. So how are you feeling for Nick to, uh, for tomorrow night against Vicky Batista? I think you guys are gonna be here for a treat. Everybody's talking about knockout power. Both of you guys score knockouts. Is someone getting knocked out? It's gonna be a knockout. That's all, that's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> what do you expect in, uh, if victorious? What does that do for your career? Uh, catapult to the next level. Right now, we're gonna focus on uh, taking that. And uh, I say a victory tomorrow, or tomorrow night. Maybe. So if victorious, you'll stay at 140? Of course. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. So here are Joe Goosen, the uh, trainer of John Molina. So what are you expecting for tomorrow night? Well, you know, I, I think I think anybody that knows boxing knows what's coming tomorrow night. <laughs> in, regards, in regards to Molina, thinks it's going to be a barn burn. Well, you know, both guys have knockout power, and that's what we're expecting is a knockout fight. I, I like the way my guy looked on the scales today. I like the size differential. I like the, the body frame differential. But a kid can punch. So can Molina. You know, the way to get through this fight is to have good defense early on. Make sure you don't get hit with anything stupid. But if this fight starts moving forward, I, I really like it. Well, John Molina has proven that he's got the power knocking out Michael, uh, Mikey Bay in 10 rounds when he was down on the cards. Oh, yeah. Well, and yes, and look, 
But DJ is a great fighter, he's a great puncher, he's got good defense, keeps his hands up real good. But of course, you know, when you study a guy, you're gonna find out some flaws, and that's what we'll, we've worked on to try to capitalize on. We'll take care of him tomorrow night. You know, Molina looks like he's the bigger guy. You know, he's taller, he's got the reach department. I mean, is that gonna be one of the key factors to uh, victory? Still look good. Well, yeah. Yeah, he does have that size and, and height advantage. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to give away too much. Do, but uh, I, I think what, you know, we're relying on is uh, power. And, uh, you know, Molina's, he's a rough fighter. Yeah, yeah. You know, Thank you so much, You're and good luck.